Good day everyone. In this video, we will see the basics of what is philosophy of engineering. So first we will see what is engineering. Engineering is a discipline and profession that applies scientific and technical knowledge to design, create and optimize materials, systems and processes to meet specific objectives safely and effectively. So it's a creative application of scientific principles to solve real world problems. For example, think of a bridge. So engineers don't just construct it. They calculate the forces acting on it, select suitable materials and ensure it can withstand environmental factors like uh, earthquakes or floods. Okay, next, who is an engineer? So an engineer is a professional who practices engineering. Based on their qualifications and specializations, they may be referred to as professional engineer, chartered engineer, and incorporated engineer. Okay. So, for example, an aeronautical engineer designs airplanes that can fly safely at high altitudes, while a chemical engineer develops eco-friendly fuel to power them. The next history of engineering. So, this history of engineering is uh, in ancient era, in Middle Ages. And then we'll see in Renaissance and Modern Era. Okay. So first in Ancient Era. So earlier engineers created the pulley, lever and wheel, which are the mechanical tools still used in modern industries. To create works like the pyramids of Egypt, Roman aqueducts and the Great Wall of China were feats of civil and military engineering. Okay. So example, uh, uh, just we think of Imhotep. She is the first civil engineer recorded in history designed the step pyramid in Saqqara, okay, Egypt, showcasing the earliest use of columns. Next, in Middle Ages, the engineers like Al Zazari, so he introduced mechanisms such as double acting piston pumps, which paves the way for modern machines. So, military innovations like the three buckets showcase the integration of physics into warfare. Okay, so example, the ballista, a precursor to modern artillery, which used precise engineering to maximize force and engine. Next in Renaissance era, the invention of the steam engine by Thomas Savery in 1698 fueled the industrial revolution, giving birth to mechanical engineering. And in the 20th century, Advancements in electronics, that is transistors, vacuum tubes, which lays the foundation of four computers and smartphones. So example, just without James Watt's improvements to the steam engine, the modern power plants and railways we rely on wouldn't exist. Okay. And then uh, this is about the modern era, as I said, uh, uh, Inventions of uh, Thomas Avery and Michael Faraday, okay, so uh, inventing the electric uh, motor. So these were uh, some of the modern era, that is development of specialized machines and their maintenance tools during the Industrial Revolution, which uh, led to the rapid growth of mechanical engineering, both in its birthplace Britain and in ab abroad. So these are some of the modern era uh, in various uh, specialization fields. So in, in chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, aeronautical engineering. Okay. Next core methodology of uh, engineering is engineers use science and mathematics to design, test and implement solutions. They consider constraints like cost, safety and environmental impact. So in real world applications, when designing an electric car, engineers evaluate battery efficiency, that is its chemistry, weight, lifespan, and environmental impact, that is carbon footprint of materials, and then its cost, making it affordable for the public. Okay. Next, problem solving in engineering. So the process mainly it involves identifying the problem, formulating a mathematical model, testing and optimizing solutions. For example, for flood prevention, uh, for step one, what we have to do is that identify vulnerable areas 
and then use hydrological models to predict the water flow. Design dams, leaves and drainage systems to mitigate risks. Okay. So from this, uh, generally, uh, what is uh, engineering, what is the key takeaways from this is, engineering is a blend of creativity, science and technical knowledge. Engineers have shaped human progress from ancient tools to modern marvels like AI and space exploration. So the discipline is ever evolving with problem solving at its core, right? And then now uh, you can think of a modern engineering innovation like uh, self-driving cars or wind turbines, okay? You can try to identify the problem it solves, the disciplines it involves, that is the mechanical, electrical, software, and net, and then any constraints or challenges, okay? So that is the basics of this. Thank you.